Large cliff with rock pillar along forested shoreline. Bright green and blue water below. Text. Pictured rocks National Lake Shore. National Park Service arrowhead symbol displayed. Park ranger stands on a beach in front of a forested rocky coastline. Hi, my name is Ranger Zach and welcome to Pictured Rocks National Lake Shore. Today, I wanted to show you one of the unique features of Pictured Rocks, which helps to create this beautiful landscape that people have been drawn to for centuries. These photos show the towering Pictured Rocks cliffs as seen from a boat on Lake Superior. Notice the bright blue waters of Lake Superior as it meets with the crumbling sandstone formations of the 100-foot cliffs. The cliffs make up about 15 miles of shoreline in the western half of the park. Visitors who explore this landscape are drawn to rock formations such as Lover's Leap, which forms a large archway over Lake Superior. Grand Portal Point, which is the highest point on the cliffs, standing over 200 feet tall. And Chapel Rock, which forms a pillar of sandstone holding an old white pine tree that is only alive because of the root system reaching back to the mainland. Ranger Zach stands in front of dripping cliffs. Erosion is what formed these cliffs. While many of these cliff features are hundreds or thousands of years old, every year wind, waves, and ice from Lake Superior weathers the shoreline and alters this landscape, which means that every year visitors experience a park that is slightly different than the previous year. For instance, here is a photo of the Miner's Castle rock formation in 2005. Notice this rocky cliff stands high above Lake Superior with two rock pillars sitting on top of it. This next photo shows what a difference a year can make. Notice how the Miner's Castle rock formation is now missing one of the two rock pillars. This massive piece of stone fell into the lake as a result of ongoing erosion from Lake Superior. Ranger Zach stands in front of dripping cliffs. While there are many more impressive rock formations to view, I would like to show you one more unique feature that makes this park so famous. You are kayaking up to a cliff wall. Streaks of color are visible on rocks and water drips out of the cliff. Visitors may notice bright streaks of colors that run down the cliffs. These videos show streaks of color such as brown, orange, white, black, and green, that almost look like somebody dumped buckets of paint all over the rocks. These colors are the result of mineral staining. There is groundwater that is constantly leaking out from the porous sandstone. This groundwater has minerals present in abundance. As the water falls down the cliffs, the minerals meet with the air and stain the rock. Different minerals will create different colors. These photos display some of the colorful parts of the Pictured Rocks cliffs, which are most noticeable during sunset. The orange and brown staining is caused by iron. The white stains are caused by limonite. Black stains are caused by manganese. And although not as abundant as the other colors, blues and greens are caused by copper. Ranger Zach stands on a forested trail. While these features are best seen by boat from Lake Superior, there's plenty of opportunities to see some of the cliffs from the North Country Trail. And remember, although the forces of nature are constantly reshaping the landscape here at Pictured Rocks, we must all do our part to help preserve this special place. Pictured Rocks sees close to a million visitors every single year, and they speed up the process of erosion if they act carelessly by carving into rocks, walking in enclosed areas, or breaking apart rock formations, we encourage you to visit, but remember to protect your park. Park ranger and a visitor bird watching on a marsh trail. For more videos and information about other areas of pictured rocks, please visit www.nps.gov P-I-R-O. National Park Service arrowhead symbol is displayed against a black backdrop.